Hey, you know, someone said you are what you eat. You know, the science has found this absolutely true. Many of our poor health conditions, they have now related to our eating, our eating habits. You know, if you want to have health, you have to eat a consistent, healthy diet for a long period of time. And that way you'll experience good health, vitality, energy, and so on. Well, the same is true about our soul. Today I want to talk to you about what is the best diet to have a healthy soul. In 3 John verse chapter 2, it only has one chapter, and it says this, verse 2, Beloved, this is John writing, he says, Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. And so the fact is, is that God wants you to have a healthy soul. In fact, you know what? Having a healthy soul will lead to a healthy body. It will lead to healthy relationships. It will re lead to health in your success. That's right. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, Paul writes and he says, Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you can see here that God's will is for you to have a healthy soul. Your soul is your mind, your emotions, and your will. So I want to, what I found is that if you eat right, if you feed your soul the right things, it's going to give you a healthy soul, which is going to produce physical health in your life. So let's just jump right into it. Let me pray for you, and we're going to jump right in. God, would you open up to us an understanding of the things that we can feed our soul with that will make our soul healthy? God, I pray, open our eyes to see. Holy Spirit, speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Can you say amen to that? Well, I'm sure right away you started thinking as soon as I started talking about it. You know, the Bible says man does not live by bread alone, but by every, that's right, word, that, you know, that God speaks. So one of the very first things you that will feed your soul is obviously, you already know this, is the word of God. James chapter 1, verse 21 it says this, putting aside, James writes, all filthiness and all that remains of wickedness in humility, receive the word implanted, which is able to save your soul. The word of God, again, is what will feed you. You need to, and by the way, how many times do you eat every day? Just the same. You need the word of God every single day because receiving the word of God, reading on it, meditating on it, speaking it will bring health and salvation to your souls. Another thing that is a good thing for your soul diet is the peace of God. Philippians tells us that, that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Hearts and minds talking about our soul. Jesus said this, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden. Come, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and gentle of heart, and there you will find rest for your soul. So, you know, a lot of diseases and stuff are caused by stress and, and by buildup of certain chemicals in our body that are caused by stress and worry and fret and all these things. But God says, I'm going to give you my peace. That's John 14. Jesus says, my peace I give to you. Don't let your heart be troubled. So another thing is the peace of God. Another one is prayer, right? So we're talking about feeding our souls. It says, don't be anxious, Paul says in Philippians 4, about anything, but everything with prayer and with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Again, your mind's part of your soul. And so peace is another thing uh, that comes through prayer. So as you pray, it brings health to your soul. Another thing for a healthy soul diet is praying in the spirit. I have a whole video on that. You can go on my YouTube channel, which is Fred Kropp, K-R-O-P-P. -P. If you go there, just look up, you know, about praying in tongues or praying in the spirit. There's a whole teaching in there. And I think you can find it here on the Healing Rooms archives as well. But Jude tells us this in verse 20. But you, beloved, building yourselves up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. So praying in the Spirit builds you up in your most holy faith. And I believe that it also restores your soul. Another thing for a healthy soul diet is fasting. Oh, wait a minute. I thought we were talking about eating. No, fasting is a good thing. Psalms 35, David says, I humbled my soul with fasting. And the Bible says, God resists the proud, James, 
It says, God resists the proud, but he gives grace to those that humble themselves before him. Also, Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, in chapter 6, he says, as you fast in secret, God will reward you openly. So fasting is another healthy thing that you can put in your soul diet. Here's another one, and this is super important, and a lot of Christians are missing it, and that is fellowship. You and I need fellowship with other believers. Health, the Bible says we need each other. Every part of the body is necessary according to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 and 25, it says, Let us consider how to stimulate one another unto love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembly together as the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. So maybe you're unchurched. Maybe you're not committed. You've been, I got offended at church or I didn't like it or whatever. Can I just tell you, you need fellowship. Fellowship means to share your life with another believer. Uh, it tells us in Acts chapter 2 that the Christians then, there was a healthy church. And you know why? Because it says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and prayer. Notice they devoted themselves to fellowship. Another uh, thing that you can do for a healthy uh, soul diet, and that is to take communion regularly. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. And so when we do take communion, we're reminding ourselves of the finished work of the cross, what Jesus did for us, and I believe that it's the meal that heals. So as we remember by taking the bread and taking the, the, the wine or cup or whatever you drink for that, as we take that, we're eating and drinking either, it says you can eat, drink health or you can drink, you can drink uh, death or you can drink health. And so Jesus said, Take this. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So communion is another thing for a healthy soul diet. And the final thing is, which I'm sure you've thought of already, and that is worship. The Bible says God inhabits, Psalm 22, verse 3, the praises of his people. And so worship brings God into your life and causes him to come and inhabit. Another version says he's enthroned on your life. It says when we do that, then we have God's presence, and God's presence brings joy, and God's joy brings health. In Psalms 100 and verse 4, it says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. You know, if you start off with thanksgiving and worship, you're going to end up in the right place. That's right. And then in Psalms 16, verse 11, it says, You make me know the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy and your right hand pleasures forever. So I want to encourage you, put yourself on a diet, right? Not a fit, the physical diet. Put yourself on a soul diet. Make sure you're eating the right things that are going to cause you to have a healthy soul. Let me pray for you that you'll begin to give yourself to these things. And you know what? God's going to bless you because of it. Father, I thank you for everyone watching this video. It's time for Christians to have a healthy soul diet. I pray that we'll, we'll do it. We'll get into it. That people will watch this video over and over and say, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm going to feed my soul the right thing so I can have a healthy soul. Lord, I pray for them. I bless them. To, I pray John's prayer. I would that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I hope that helped you. Hey, I want you to know that the Father loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters.